Hello, it's Yvonne here to do the readings for the fire sign and this is for the lovely sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you find that the reading isn't your reading this week, it might be a good idea to check out your moon, your, your rising or ascendant and also your Venus. If the reading doesn't resonate with you or does resonate with you, I ask that you give it a thumbs up for me please to help me grow the channel. We are going to use the Gilded Tarot Royale for your reading. I feel like there are changes coming through for you this week and quite possibly a big decision that has to be made. Very strong energy of change coming through on this reading. All right, so we have the Four of Cups coming through. The Four of Cups is a card that talks about boredom. It talks about being fed up with what you're doing. It's something to do with what you're being offered, something to do with what's available to you, but you do not want it anymore. You've either already been through things before. I mean, this could be something that's cycling or some sort of pattern that you're finally realizing that you don't want to move through. Um, it can be the offer of, you know, from somebody when you've had, you know, other offers and, and they just haven't been pleasing. Whatever it is for you here, you are done with this. You are totally done with it. All right, there we go with change. I knew something was coming. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a card that talks about things going in your favour. There's changes here that are going to affect you. They must be good changes, though, because the wheel is now turning in your favour here, which means that something is being brought around for you to deal with. Sometimes this can be karmic energy. Um, it could be something that you've dealt with before that now needs to be finalised or finished. Um, sometimes it's like the universe sort of keeps it on the boil for a while and then it comes or simmering I guess and then it comes around to be dealt with you are being offered a new start here but I'm not really sure with this four of cups if it's the type of start or the kind of start you really want here with this ace of wands there's very much this energy of a brand new start somebody's very passionate here somebody really wants to offer you something but again, I don't think you're ready to take this offer. You may be still healing from something from the past. You may be still going through some changes yourself. But here it looks to me like you're not even taking up the offer. There is something here you're trying to see from a different perspective. So for example, if somebody's coming in to offer you something, maybe you'll put it on hold, maybe you're considering it, maybe it's the decision that felt like it was coming up when I first brought the cards towards me. So it's definitely something you feel on the fence about. Um, I feel that you're being asked now to make a decision on something that's probably been around for a long time. Um, I do feel with that foot wheel of fortune, it's sort of been waiting for it to be brought to the surface so okay all right so I feel like in the past look at this this is really what I'm feeling here so I feel like something happened in the past now I don't feel that it's the same person coming in to offer you something I feel quite likely here that you've had your heart broken in the past or maybe more than once and I'm not sure that you want to take a chance on something new but the universe is saying here you're putting off taking this opportunity and they're trying to bring you a brand new opportunity here maybe you don't want it maybe you're taking time out to think about it because I feel with this hanged man it's like you're trying to look at it and see whether it's right for you or not so it could be somebody different it could be somebody that's making this offer that you don't see yourself with I feel like you're still considering something here because you're definitely trying to see it from a different perspective I still feel that you're hanging on to some sort of hurt from the past here and with the Ace of Cups here I would say this is a very beautiful offer but again not trusting. I don't think it has anything to do with the person. I think you're still carrying around past hurts or past energies and the universe is saying you need to take a good look at this because we've been a while getting it ready. We've had it on the simmer for you and we think it's going to be really good. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords through here. So it could be with a Libra Gemini Aquarius. You could be dealing with one of those signs. The Queen of Swords for me also represents a divorcee. You could have been waiting for someone to get divorced or bring themselves into an energy where you could, um, you could join them or be with them. I almost feel like there's a real sort of funny energy with this card today because it feels a little cold for me today. 
So it could be that you're deciding here, do you move forward with this energy or do you cut it off? Because there is this energy of chilled energy here. So I'm wondering here, are you considering cutting something out, cutting something off? Is it you that's stepping into this energy? Maybe you're not really 100% happy as to what you're being offered here. All right, let's have a look what's coming up next. All right, so we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the King of Pentacles. Wow, looking at that, I'm wondering, is it an offer of marriage you're getting here? This is something that's very powerful because we have the King and Queen of Pentacles together here. So it's like a real energy of union here. So you look like you're being offered a union, but it doesn't look like somebody coming around again, but we'll work that out. The Three of Swords can mean that something didn't happen in the past. It can always be the card of third party interference. Maybe your relationship never went ahead because this person was in another commitment here. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. <coughs> oh, Throat Chakra. All right, we have the Three of Cups. Yep, I think I'm talking to someone here who was unable to go forward with something before because you were dealing with somebody who was committed to somebody else or committed to something else. It could have been a matter of you were waiting for some sort of divorce to go through. Um, you may have cycled with this person. I feel like this person is now wanting to offer you something because it looks like they've removed something from their past. So there's no longer the pain here with this Nine of Wands, which is a good thing um, because for me it looks like you're considering something um, for the future here. All right, so we have definitely got someone from your past here. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, somebody wants a new start. Someone's offering you commitment here. I feel like your person couldn't do that in the past because there was something standing in their way. Um, I feel like it was a very difficult, a difficult separation or a difficult breakup, but you may have been the one to cut this off here because your person was in a commitment. But I strongly feel this person is coming in now with a commitment for you. This is definitely with this page of pentacles. There's something beautiful on offer here. Something very beautiful on offer. I always say this guy's got, look at the size of his pentacle. So he's got something very big to offer you here. And I feel like there's probably some sort of repeating pattern here. You may have been cycling with this person. I don't think they've let you go though. I feel like they've cleared the way for you here. All right, let's have a look. They want commitment here with this ace of pentacles. All right, so I have you refusing a cup. And I'm wondering now, maybe these three cups are from the person from before. Maybe they've been around a few times because of this nine of wands here. Maybe you're not trusting it this time. Maybe you're over these offers coming through for you and you're not really sure that this is the right one. The Wheel of Fortune tells me that they've been got this one on simmer for you. I feel like this person's taken time out to separate, leave somebody behind, possibly divorce someone but they are definitely returning here and with a big offer this person feels very strongly about you they feel very strong about the relationship but I feel like here you're still in a healing phase and you really are looking at this and saying what does this mean this time because I've been hurt in the past I don't want to go through that again I really don't want to deal with this but I really love this person the thing is, you may have been ghosted by this person before, but I feel like this is definitely something about the scales being put back into balance here. This is always beautiful energy when it comes through because it says to me that there's been some sort of energy of something completing. So I'm looking here and feeling you've got a very strong connection with this person. I feel like you were definitely meant to be with this person, but I feel like other things had to be completed here before you could move forward. This person definitely wants something for the long haul here with this Ace of Pentacles. They want to be with you here. Um, and that's very, very clear. We have this beautiful page coming in with this Ace of Pentacles. And this page means this is like a gift from the universe, this relationship. But because you have the male, female of the suit here too, I feel like you've worked really hard to get yourself in balance. And there's sort of this real energy here that you're considering whether it's worthwhile after you've done all the healing. But I'm feeling the person that was 
stopping you before is definitely out of the picture here. Your person could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. It looks as though their person could have been an air sign. Um, but they definitely are letting somebody go. They want a new start. There's no doubt about it at all. Look, in they come. So they're going to take action on this. They definitely are. Ace of Pentacles being covered by the Five of Wands, the Temperance card and the Star card. All right. This is somebody wanting to take a new direction with you. They see something incredibly beautiful with you and I don't feel that they ever gave up on this connection. They know that your energy that you have together is something that's destined. I feel like for both of you this is a dream come true but I just feel because of the past experience you're a little reluctant to trust this energy on, the, on around again. But I do have the Temperance card of the, and the Five of Wands. So there is this feeling that you're going backwards and forwards on some sort of decision here. And you know what? Take your time. This person isn't going anywhere. They definitely want you here for the long haul. This is a person who wants stable commitment. They want the long, the long haul with you here. And I feel like in, in your heart it's what you want too. But it may be, it's going to take a little bit of time. But I really feel your person's gone to a lot of trouble to be with you. I feel quite strongly they're going to be, they're going to be happy to wait till it comes in. So take your time. All right, let's have a little look at the journey of love. Rings of Time. Hmm. And it's card 44. Me and the fours. All right, let's have a read of this for you. Divine timing is granted to us all as a gift. Sometimes if we want to be further ahead than where we are, that gift can seem like a restriction rather than a generous holding. Much like traffic that moves systematically, so that not only one car, but many can reach their destination according to a greater harmony and alignment. We are like individual cars that must sometimes accept red lights and at other times can flow swiftly through many green lights. It is just this way, the systemic flow of divine energy through human manifestation. Your spiritual maturation is happening perfectly. There is no need to bother yourself about timing. When doors open, walk through. When there appear to be no such openings, rest and reflect. The rings of time serve you, beloved. This oracle brings you a message that the divine is completely responsible for the timing of every event, opportunity and happening of grace in your life. All you need to do is live your life. Everything else is taking care of you now. This applies to all of your plans and the unfolding of all of your relationships. Let it all breathe and let the divine happen as it will. I'll read you the poem. There is a beautiful silence now as I hold your hands and listen to your eyes. Across a span of moments called time, there are no words that say as much, nor walls that could confine the wings of our feelings or the rhythms of our eyes. That's beautiful. So I figure here this person is well and truly ready to wait for you here. I feel that this is happening in the time it was meant to happen in. I do feel this person was meant to return to you. I do feel they have a very strong soul connection with you here. I just feel there were things in their life where they couldn't offer you what you wanted before. But it looks as though they're coming in now to offer you something very, very beautiful. So your patience will be rewarded here, which is absolutely lovely. I'm going to pull out an oracle card as well. Oops, there it is. The Andean Cross. The Andean Cross announces the start to a great journey. It's time to raise your gaze from the mundane day today to which until now has seen beyond your grasp. 
Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a resounding yes. So that's really interesting. It looks like you're going to jump at this opportunity, but I feel like you're taking time out first, perhaps to really make sure that it's what you want. Thanks, Sagittarius.